so in this video over here which was posted uh, on 27th september last year i explained the reasons why you should get the forex vps the advantages and so on but the myth but the method i showed you on how to get a vps for metatrader was not that simple so this is why i've decided to make an entire new video on how you can set up a forex vps the easiest or the simplest way so this video for today is not going to be long it will be shorter than the previous one so the first thing first you have to know is that i am currently an affiliate with voucher and the promotion which was talked about last time it's still on and it's still available so all you have to do is simply create an account using my referral link of which the, the link to this site will be in the description so when you create an account using my referral link and when you deposit a minimum of 25 dollars you will be given 100 free credits to begin your forex vps okay so simply create an account using the referral link in the description so once you are done with that simply click on the plus icon and click on deploy new server from here you have to choose a server type so I prefer using the cloud compute from here you have to choose the location so you can choose any location you prefer as for me i'll go with german frankfurt from here now you have to choose windows and have to select a version so i'm going to select the 2019 2019 one and choose the server size for now we'll continue with this one so i'm sure you might be wondering like 20 dollars per month is too much there are other platforms that can give you a forex vps at less than 10 dollars per month well with this one you'll be given an entire windows uh, vps but when it comes to other forex vps providers they only give you access to the metatrader that's it but with this one will be given full access it's like renting a remote computer or something like that so simply click on just enter in the name you want let's say writing windows yeah something like that or just write windows that's it and click on deploy so once the installation is done you'll be given something like this so as you can see you'll be given the ip address the administrator and the password so now all you have to do is simply click on the download rgp connection when this is done simply open it and it's going to open the remote desktop client on your laptop then simply click on connect okay so when it shows an error like this it means that the installation is not yet done or it's still booting up so all you have to do is simply click on ok then click on this icon to view the console and find out what's happening okay so as you can see it's still installing and you have to give it some time click on the download rgp connection when this is done simply open it and it's going to open the remote desktop client on your laptop okay then simply click on connect okay so now it's done with everything so this is how it's going to look like it's going to be empty so all you have to do now is click on this menu over here 